Nyt ollaan takaisin täällä Lintsin suoralla, eli sieltä mistä kaikki alkoi. Ja se syy miksi me ollaan täällä takaisin, niin nämä oli puskemassa tuolla messukeskuksen ledgeä ja kaverit oli väsän pari tuntia Ja sitten tietenkin kun hommat oli saatu kasaan, niin tuli häädöt ja sit piti tulla tähän näin lähellä ennen kuin lähtee auringonvalo tai ei tämänkään auringonvalo, mutta anyway valosaan aikaa piti saada jotain aikaan. Niin Vedetään sitten tätä peruspientä pötkylää ja toivottavasti saadaan jotain niinku aivan himmeitä trikkejä nauhalla. Was that the worst slam that you had? <laughs> it's definitely my worst slam that I've had in Finland, that's for sure. You know, it's always fun rolling downstairs on your knees and your back and your neck. As long as I didn't hit other people, it's okay. Finland is amazing. This is my first trip to Europe and the whole scene, like Finland, gives a good name to Europe. Lots of girls. <laughs> well, I probably shouldn't say that. Um, everything's good the people are nice lots of handrails and it's cold very cold Okay, uh, Dan, you're the mastermind uh, behind the Finnish trip. Uh, where did you get the idea to come here? I think the idea we got first maybe from just seeing so many photos in the international magazines from that were taken in Helsinki. So, um, you know, rather than just go to Colorado or, you know, somewhere in the States or Europe that's pretty much played out like just a ski resort or whatever we thought it'd be cool to maybe come to a city that none of us had been to before and uh, you know fingers crossed hope there was snow on the ground when we got here and take some cool shots. How was the progress uh, choosing the riders to the trip was it like the the idols the, <laughs> the program? <laughs> pretty much pretty much uh, just basically knew that we'd have to take the big dogs you know the guys that could step up to the to the decent sized rails <laughs> Ryan Teen for instance I mean he was at the top of my list of course you know um, no but pretty much had to had to really be careful with the selection and just make sure that it'd be guys that that could definitely kind of step up to it and also not get hurt on the first day you know because uh, that would have been tragic if we had of flown this far and everybody was hurt after one or two days so uh, but it's worked out well everybody got hurt on the second last day <laughs> so it's good yeah. Charles the man the myth the legend <laughs> Helsinki has been um, easily one of the most productive trips I've ever been on the biggest differences between here and uh, other places and other trips I've been on is um, the no bus factor Uh, you can rock up to a rail, set up, session the hell out of it for an hour or two. Uh, cops can drive by two or three times. It's too easy. So the footage has been amazing. Yeah. Couldn't really expect to, to come to a place for six days that we'd never been to before and get enough photos to, to fill out a really big story. But at, as it stands right now, I've got enough photos for like a story and a good amount in the photo annual. And, Hopefully even get some sent to Europe and uh, see if we can get some run in the international mags.
you guys met this uh, girl that knew that uh, she was living next to this uh, famous rail. Priscilla, uh, downtown there, um, this girl came out. She, uh, her friends had told her that the rail that she lived next to was very famous. Uh, she came out. Uh, unfortunately, it was at the exact moment she came out ready to take a shot and uh, Teeny was trying to backlip through this kink. Uh, he probably came in a little bit on a 45 degree angle through the kink, caught the old heel edge, uh, flipped. So uh, she was slightly impressed, but um, <laughs> things could have been a little smoother on that department. Kuma. I think one of the highlights uh, for the trip was maybe not even rails uh, for me personally. Just taking a boat across the ice uh, is pretty unique for an Aussie to, you know, to be on a boat looking across and seeing a sea of ice. We went across to some island, I can't quite recall the name, but... Um, it'd, it'd be as bad, we wouldn't be able to pronounce the name. We'd no. make a mess of it and you would all laugh at us <laughs> even more than you're probably laughing right now. Yeah, we got there, we, uh, we cruised around, didn't do anything crazy on the snowboard, but just doing the touristy thing, that was really cool, checking things out, um, learning a little bit about the history of Finland, um, and then, you know, taking the boat back, that was really cool, good trip. What did you learn about the history? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I learnt that I learnt that I learnt that the uh, the wall the little mini wall ride session went on. That wall was actually built in 1939. I don't know if you're actually meant to be gymming walls built in 1939, but we left a little pretext there, or I know Auntie did. I heard you guys uh, met this lady that was offering you guys a five-star hotel when you got, come back next time. Really? Where did? Is that true? <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. Good. I'd like to meet her. Like <laughs> we could hang out, and five-star hotel would be a little bit better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Loved the trip, had a really good time here, and uh, Finnish people are really nice and didn't understand much, but they seemed like they were saying nice stuff. 